Hello everyone and welcome. Um, my name is Lindy Morrison and I'm a part-time PhD student at the Nursing and Healthcare School. I'm a nurse by trade and I've been working in education for, for as long as I've worked in clinical practice within the emergency department. So for my PhD it's given me a chance to get back to my clinical roots and build upon my passion for supporting others as a nurse teacher to work collaboratively to help build the evidence base of our profession. As such, I've chosen to explore research activity among nurses in clinical practice. So research on research, if you will. From Florence Nightingale to modern day nursing practice, nurses have been key in the generation of new knowledge to inform their practice. Arguably, being at the patient's bedside, clinical nurses are in the ideal position to pose clinically curious and relevant questions for exploration through the research process. However, the nurse is faced with a multitude of competing priorities, and as such, the conduct of research is often a lesser concern when competing with the demands of this patient-facing role. A better understanding of these influencing factors is first needed to promote the conduct of research by clinical nurses to continue to enhance the care they provide. So the first phase of my PhD has been to review the literature to find out what are the barriers that prevent clinical nurses from conducting research and practice, but also to highlight the enablers to help develop a culture of research among this group. This poster depicts a brief overview of the findings from my literature review. Four themes have been identified. The light bulb represents research competence and culture. It was clear that clinical nurses need educational support through better educational partnerships to help them feel more confident, giving them access to the right knowledge and skills to help empower them to conduct research. The helping hands represent proactive research mentorship. Proactive research mentorship was found to be key in allowing clinical nurses to professionally flourish through access to research role models and mentors, while also offering methodological and structural support. The clock represents research resources. Unsurprisingly, access to research resources such as time and money are commonly cited issues in practice. And finally, the shooting star represents the theme of making a difference. A clear need to identify and support those with the drive to, to develop the evidence base for the profession was clear, harnessing and encouraging that clinical curiosity through empowerment of clinical nurses. So what are my next steps? I hear you all cry. Phase two of my PhD will be very much guided by this evidence and as such action research will be used as an approach to develop a collaborative partnership with a group of nurses in clinical practice to create a community of research inquiry and promote that culture of research activity in practice. Thank you all very much.